It's fall. It's a slow time. The breakneck pace of the spring and summer has simmered down to something less than what it was. Now there's just the tasks of maintenance. It's work, but it's work like letting air out of tires is work. It doesn't take all that much effort. There's interruptions, of course. Noel Perrin once wrote an essay about how winter in Vermont was great, except for all the gunshots and the small engines that seem to crowd out all of the natural sounds. And it's like that here as well. The visual spectacle is worth it, though. The trees change color and the leaves fall and the sound, as the winds blow, are more interesting than they are at any other time of year. The other night, I was driving home very late, and I saw four different possums doing their thing. Rabbits and deer are out as well, and every kind of bird. It's seed time, too. It's all enjoyable, all of those parts of fall. There's also crops. Beans are making their final hurrah. Sweet potatoes are coming out of the ground, although we had much, much worse luck this year than we ever have before. The heat or the lack of nutrients in our sandy soil or just a bad start meant that the crop was very diminished compared to last year. That said, we did get some massive mutants, including a Japanese sweet potato that was almost the size of my head. It's not in this video. The one truly surprising thing this fall has happened in the past week or so. I came out to the garden to admire the dying pepper crop, and I was met with this. What the absolute hell could have done this? At first, I thought maybe it was moles. But the damage was too extensive. The other night, I saw a deer jump over the fence while I happened to be looking out the window. So I took the fence up another three feet. Still, it kept happening. So it must not have been the deer. Then, against all odds, I thought maybe it was a chipmunk. But again, the damage was just too great for a tiny chipmunk to have done it. Then I saw this, and I had to set up a camera. Here is the footage as of last night. That's right, a big, chunky armadillo. Wiggly and jiggly, yet firm, like a loaf of bread. This armadillo has been going around the garden and absolutely wrecking things every night for a solid eight hours. This thing is putting in the work every single evening, rain or shine. And because of that, I do respect it. I hope you enjoyed this video and looking at the armadillo. And you should know that I have repaired the huge hole in the fence that was letting it make its way in. I tracked it back out of the garden because it made a huge path on its way in and out of the garden. Anyway. That's what's been happening on the farm. <laughs>